A lumbar decompression is a surgery where we are trying to decompress a nerve. Now typically when someone has pain going down their leg, it's because they have a compressed upon nerve. And so the nerve can be compressed on by a variety of things. It can be from a piece of ruptured disc, in which case we might do a lumbar disc surgery. But if it's not compressed on by a piece of disc, if it's compressed on by, for example, some arthritic spur or some ligament buildup or a cyst or even perhaps a tumor, then we do a decompressive surgery. And what that really means is we have a nerve which is compressed, that compression is causing someone problems, and so we do a decompression, we remove what's ever compressing on the nerve and give the patient the best chance to improve. A decompression can be any number of things, and it can be anything from a relatively small surgery, which is outpatient, to a bigger surgery, which may require a hospital stay, depending upon how much of an area is compressed and how much work we need to do. Typically, though, our patients really do quite well with this. Once the patient's nerve root compression is gone, then typically their pain is much better because their nerve pain will resolve. We like to get our patients up walking around very quickly. We like to have our patients, uh, if they do spend the night, be walking even in the hospital. The first night, they start walking around. When they go home, we like them walking every hour. Generally, we like them to walk every hour for uh, the first five, six, seven days. As time goes by, they can walk further and further. We typically have them take it easy, mostly just walk for the first few weeks, then they progressively do more and more activities.